Hello Taurus and welcome to your general love reading. This reading is going to be for the collective. So this is Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, okay? If you feel this message doesn't resonate with you, please check your other signs. Um, also, please note, I'm not feeling the best today. So if I do cough, I'll try to cut it out of the video, but feeling not the best. Um... If you're new to my channel, then you know that we always comment our birthdays. Or, well, you don't know that, but <laughs> better you know that. Um, we always encourage everyone to comment their birthday in the comment section. See if you can find your birthday twin and also represent for Taurus Gang. Also, if you're on Instagram, please follow me. I promise to get more active there. And last but not least, if this reading resonates with you, please support the channel. You can hit the like button. You can subscribe because that means that I was able to pick up on your energy. And hopefully I can continue to just bring you more monthly videos that bring you a lot of clarity in your situation. Okay, so this is how this reading is going to go. This is a reading between you and your person and the union. So this person could be someone that you are dating right now, someone you are married to, an ex, anybody that you're thinking of right now. Try to hone in on that energy so we can pick up on it. All right, and how it will work is I'll have three columns. The first column rep will represent person A. Second column will represent the energy between the two of you. Third column is person B. So you, since this is a general reading, the energies could flip. So you go ahead and uh, pick the column that you resonate with most, okay? So let's get into it. What can you tell me for Taurus already? We have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime, Taurus. You guys are meeting someone? Or you're in some sort of true love situation? In a healthy relationship, finally? You have flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So someone is being encouraged to flirt. That it's safe to love this person. That this is... Um, a good opportunity or a good love prospect for you. Wow. Yes, this is your soulmate. Dang, Taurus, who are you guys meeting? All right, this doesn't necessarily have to be someone new. What other energies can you give me? Give me some energy for the other person. Children, okay. It says your love life is being affected by children. Let's put it on this side for now. Um... You know what, I kind of feel like it belongs with this person. Someone is being encouraged to flirt. Maybe someone has children here, and they haven't really been getting out lately, um, but they've met someone, or maybe you've met someone who has kids. Kids, for some reason, are a factor here. So we'll see how it applies going forward. But this person is a soulmate. There's a soulmate energy here. Codependency, right, with the children. Okay. We have you deserve love. Someone must have got out of a situation. You have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Either a true love. I'm not getting a lot of cards for another person. So I wonder if a lot of you Tauruses are very much single. Um, you could have kids. Um, and you could have ended things on a bad note with the parent of your kids. But the universe is letting you know that you deserve love. You're lovable. Um, to go ahead and extend that lighthearted energy that you had once before. Don't let that stop you because I feel like there's true love, soulmate, and chemistry here. So there's a strong magnetic attraction. So someone I feel like maybe you haven't met yet because I'm not getting a lot of cards yet for this person. Let go of control issues and allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay. Taurus, I feel like that's you. Then you have the card of deception. Someone's wearing a false mask in the relationship. Let's put that there for now. And then you have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Let's clarify deception. Because I feel like this person maybe could be in your energy already. But um, they're not being 100% honest about how they feel. Or they're watching you from a distance. Let's see. Please clarify deception. Taurus, please clarify deception when it comes to their love life. Wow, you have the Five of Swords. Okay. Someone's got the same exact body language, too. You can see it here. With the two people in the background and the person in the foreground, almost the same exact body language, just holding and looking over the other person. Um... This is usually a card of pettiness, but I feel like somebody is watching you from a distance, but they're not saying anything to you. 
Okay, Taurus, interesting. Or you could be doing this to someone else. Maybe you're interested in somebody who, you know, is not really expressing much. They have a lot of responsibilities and things that they need to take care of as well. Um, but there's this energy here of love. The Page of Pentacles just flipped out. So someone's not delivering a message here. Someone's being deceptive about how they feel. Could be an earth sign person. Can we get some more cards for this other person? So this is either you, Taurus, right? An earth sign. Or this is the person that you're dealing with. Release your ex. The time has come, sorry, the time has come to clear your energy. So who needs to do that? I feel like the both of you need to do that as well. Mostly this person here with the children and the codependency and, and letting go of control issues. Someone needs to let go. There's two cards here. Release. Love yourself first. This is telling this person, you know, reassuring them that there's something out there for them. Even if it, it doesn't seem that way, it's like their outlook is very deceptive. So if you're this person here, you may be feeling like, oh, there's not going to be an opportunity for me to meet someone. But there is. It feels, it, I feel like the universe is saying that that outlook is deceptive. That's not true. <clears throat> Excuse me. What do we have here? Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So many of you, whoever this person is with a lot of responsibilities, they may want to take some time to themselves, maybe go to a spa, you know, do something for themselves. I feel like they are a parent. Um, I feel like they kind of put themselves on the back burner for their children, for other people. They don't really put a lot of effort into like their social life or their romantic life. And universe is telling you it's time to do that because you have true love coming in here. You have an actual soulmate coming in here. Let's use the um, Gypsy Oracle Tarot. I want to see what other messages the universe has for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You have the Merchant. So this is some someone with something to offer here. The Merchant. I feel like there there could be for some of you there is someone a little bit deceptive. I got like a shady vibe from the Merchant. You could be dealing with someone a little bit deceptive for some reason. Someone, I wonder if their deception is harmful or I feel like their deception is just that they're not ready to, to offer anything. So this could either be your energy or the other person. But this is like the shady merchant I'm getting. Like someone's being shady. All the body language is very similar. And then you have the gift. I feel like the universe wants to give you a gift. A gift of true love. So maybe you need to release this person. This could be the ex that the other person needs to release. Okay, maybe you once thought you were there with your soulmate and you're having a tough time letting them go or vice versa. And there's that energy of waiting. Someone's waiting, you know, for their gifts, for their soulmate, for true love, for someone to come in. Okay, and I feel like the person here has, maybe you're watching, are you waiting for someone to make an offer towards you? And they're not, even though they notice you, it's very weird energy. That Five of Swords is always that weird, you know, playing mental games kind of energy. I'm a lady, so this is being like sick, in bed, not feeling their best. I feel like this person is not feeling in their best energy. The universe is giving them a lot of messages, trying to help them move forward. All right, let's get some um, more outcome cards, because I want to see what's happening here in this energy, because why is the universe indicating that there's a soulmate or true love in the energy here? I feel like a lot of you may feel like you've met a soulmate, but this person is giving you mixed signals. That's what I'm getting, because the reading is giving me, like, mixed signals, and, you know... Let's see. Please clarify the soulmate card. Okay, you have the Queen of Swords. So you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. You have more air sign here. So this there could be an air sign that is a possible soulmate to you. And that's coming in, but they don't seem to be the type of person who's very like mushy or expresses how they feel. Um emotionally they're more like at the law on the logical side so they don't really face their emotions they kind of turn their back on their emotions so this person requires a lot of work like <laughs> this person um 
I don't know why they're being deceptive, but they're kind of they're kind of turning their back on. Sorry, my last head almost went off. They're kind of turning their back on this connection. And I feel like the other person is just waiting for them to come back or to realize that there's still love here. There's chemistry here. This is, you know, a soulmate type situation. And the other person is being, you know, not wanting to see that. But I feel like they still feel some type of way. Like they still have feelings. They're just being very deceptive and acting as if, you know, they don't care or they don't want to offer the other person commitment or what they want. Oh, Taurus. That is annoying. Let me get some more. Let's get some outcome cards for Taurus. What's going to happen in this situation between Taurus and this deceptive person? Oh, the devil card. Okay. Okay, we are back. So you got the devil card. You guys are connected. Like, this energy between the two of you guys, it's it could be toxic, but I feel like it's there's a lot of love here, but it's just not being directed in the right way, you know? <clears throat> yes, there's a connection. Yes, you feel chemistry. Yes, there's soulmate. But it's like the union is so unhealthy and just a little toxic in a way is what I'm getting. You know, that's why I was saying, like, these two people, yes, there's a lot of love in the middle here, but the way this person expresses love is not conducive to like a good healthy relationship and i feel like it keeps you in this either you you know either you're doing that to this person or they're doing that to you but keeping you in this stage of like waiting and, and being sad and feeling down about yourself and all of that things to the last card you have cheerfulness here i wonder where that came from i feel like you're just hoping for the chance for you guys to reconnect and come together while you got death at the bottom of the deck just waiting for the chance. What's some advice for Taurus when it comes to the situation? The last card. Oh, geez. Two more cards wants to come out. Reconciliation. I feel like you guys have this on and off type of thing with this person, you know. And it's not going to be healthy until this person stops being deceptive, whether that's you or them. And starts to communicate, you know, how they feel, what they want. Have some sort of valuable communication instead of just making false promises or watching from a distance some kind of way okay Taurus so that is going to be your reading and I hope that was able to give you some clarity if you want to book a private reading with me there's a link in my description you can click that and I get back to you within 24 hours to get your info all right so take care and I will see you guys in the next video